If you're taking physics right now, here's what you need to know about wave diffraction. In this problem, we've got light and they're giving us the wavelength. They're telling us that it's passing through a single slit and they give us the width of that slit. They also tell us the distance that the screen is away from the slit. So we can start this off by drawing a picture. What we're trying to find here is the width of the central maximum fringe. So all of that means is that on the screen, there's going to be bright spots and dark spots. We're trying to find the width of the bright spot that's right in the middle. If we use our equation, it'll tell us the distance from the center to the first dark spot. So we want to double that to find the width of the central bright spot. Since we have a small slit, we can't use the small angle approximation here, or it won't give us a very good answer if we do. So that means we have to use the other form of this equation, a sine theta is equal to m lambda. Then we have to use the other form of this equation as well, which is y is equal to l tan theta. We can combine both of those equations together. So we can take the first one, rearrange for theta, and then plug that in for theta in the tan in the second equation. So instead of just solving for y, we're going to double this and solve for 2y. And we're going to solve for y1, because that'll give us the width of the central bright spot. Now when we plug in all of our numbers, we get that that bright spot has a width of 0.653 meters.